Phai Khom Bang, Vietnamese Ban Siu. What's Ban Siu? When I first saw Ban Siu, I honestly thought they were omelets. I was wrong. They're Vietnamese crepes, or crepes, however you want to pronounce it. When I tried it, I was mind blown. There's so much going on. It's chewy, it's crunchy, savory, it's sweetness. Needless to say, I was hooked on Vietnamese food from that moment on. Pho opened my world to Vietnamese food, but Ban Siu got me hooked. I remember trying and thinking, I need to learn how to make this. I need this in my life. Now, if you guys have Asian moms or Asian mother-in-laws by any chance, you know how much pride they take in their culinary skill. A notch in my belt is that my Ban Siu is my husband's favorite, meaning he likes mine more than his mom's. The ingredients and measurements are listed down in the description box. Enough rambling y manos a la obra, aka let's get started. Rice flour, corn flour, sugar, turmeric, salt, a pinch of white pepper, coconut milk, water. Combine the ingredients, finely chopped green onions, whisk. Cover your bowl and refrigerate for at least an hour. I'm using a pound of shrimp. They've already been washed and de-veined. You can go ahead and cut them in half, but my husband, he's a spoiled man and he likes them whole. So I'm gonna leave them whole. Sugar, chicken bouillon, a pinch of black pepper, fish sauce, mix. Now marinate this in the refrigerator for an hour. To marinate our beef, we're going to add sugar, chicken bouillon, a pinch of black pepper, fish sauce, thinly sliced onion, combine. Refrigerate and marinate for at least an hour. Set your stove to medium high. Here I have our batter, bean sprouts, marinated beef, and we also have our shrimp. As you can see, I made my first one. Now I'm gonna show you guys how I start my second. Be sure to give your batter a good stir before starting each crepe. So there's actual steam coming off of my pan. Oil. Once your shrimp are semi-cooked, add more oil and enough batter to coat the pan. Add a small handful of bean sprouts, cover, and let steam for about a minute or two. So it's been about a minute. You're going to let this fry and get really crispy on the bottom. Add a little bit more oil just to the edges. After adding a little bit more oil to your edges, turn up the heat to high, and we're going to let this cook until we can tell that the edges are really crispy. And I'll show you guys when we're ready to flip. I hope you guys can see that. We're not ready to flip because the batter's still too soft. Now we're ready to flip. You can tell because the edges are really crispy, fold it over like you would a Denver omelet. As you can see, it's beautifully crispy on the outside. And you're done. Transfer it onto your serving plate. No. Honey, are you gonna show people how to eat bansu? No, more for me. <laughs> oh my. You little brat. The way I serve bansu is with lettuce, mint, cucumber, and some pickled daikon and carrots that I make myself, and along with nook jam, which is like Vietnamese ketchup. They use it on everything. <laughs> so you can enjoy bansu straight like this, or you can do what my husband's doing and making kind of like a spring roll out of it. That's kind of the way it's done in Vietnam. Wet the rice paper roll. because my husband's a brat, he has me make some without bean sprouts, and then you roll it, tuck in the sides, then you roll it up like a burrito. Okay. There you go. There you go, then you dip. You were doing yard work outside, so you're pretty tired, huh? Yep. Aw, well that's why I made your favorite. Do you like it, baby? It's actually make better than my mom. Whoa! Just don't tell her that. I won't, <laughs> I won't tell her. <laughs> So the student surpassed the master in Bansu? Yep. <laughs> Nobody needs to know. In your family, that is. Yep. 